Hi Cameron. Hello. And um, tell us a little bit about yourself. For what were you doing before uh, you came out to China? Um, well, I'm 22. I graduated university last summer. Uh -huh. I went to Edinburgh four years to politics. Mm -hmm. Found myself going back home to Jersey and uh, doing a bit of work in finance and uh, decided it wasn't for me. So that's why I'm in China. Okay, and how long have you been in China? Um, five days, six days. Okay, and, and tell us a little bit about how have you found it so far? It's great. I mean, I came out here for a change of pace and it's, it's certainly a change of pace. So yeah. many people, so much going on. Mm -hmm. Everyone drives crazily, the food, uh -huh. the smog, the cold. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a culture shop, but in a good way. That's why I came out here. Okay. Okay, good. And uh, how long are you planning to stay? So I'll be here for a year. Okay, okay, good. And have you taught before? No, I did some work experience at school working with similar primary age children. So when I thought about doing this, I thought, well, I should probably find out if I like children first. So mm -hmm. I did that work in a school in Edinburgh and then decided this was, you know, my, my not my backup plan okay. after uni, but if, if what I, if, you know, things that fall into place and, and other things always thought why not let's go around the world let's teach okay okay so you, so you tried it out in Edinburgh before, before yeah before you committed to a year in Beijing yeah I just okay. thought I'd give myself that experience see if I like working with children on a day-to-day -day basis and also I think it was good to, to give me the you know the kind of confidence dealing you know with a room full of children uh -huh. and I think for me that was really good to, to steal myself for the moment when I came out here so you have to, you know, be confident in a room full of children to, yeah. to, to you know, to feel that I can do it, that, you know, and it's going to be a good experience rather than a, a really daunting one. Okay. And um, did you, what, what kind of training did you do before coming out? What length of course? So I did my 120 hour TEFL. Okay. Um, worked through that in a couple of months. Okay. And yeah, I found it, found it really great. Mm -hmm. um, Aside from like the grammar, the more nuts and bolts of teaching, and getting into your classroom management and those mm -hmm. kind of things, mm -hmm. I found I found really interesting. And obviously, that's something you know that's vitally important to know because you might be able to speak English, speak English, but that's vastly different from from being able to teach English. Yeah. And so the the course you know gives you those skills to actually mm -hmm. put you know to, to to use the skill that you have, but present it in a way that's you know that's teachable. Okay. And uh, how's your Mandarin? Uh, it's getting there. It's uh -huh. getting there. We've been having our abductions, having a few lessons. Okay. So I think I'm about the level. I can order food. I can order a beer. Okay. So and could you do that five days ago? No, not at all. Okay. I came out here just knowing me how. Okay. So. Okay. So quite a lot in a short space of time. Yeah. Yeah. But it's been good. I think you just have to have to throw yourself into these things, especially me being out here for a year. Uh huh. You know, I'm not going to survive if I don't, you know, go into it. Yeah, okay. And uh, tell us what your favourite food is so far. Um, oh, it's hard to choose. Mm -hmm. Chicken feet were good, pork feet, <laughs> eel, frogs were good. Um, yeah, I mean, I like my food. That was one of, you know, coming out to China, that was a big attraction. Okay, okay, fair enough. Excellent. And um, any plans after, after your year in Beijing? Um, no, not at the moment. I'm just going to see how it goes. I mean, the great thing about TEFL is that it's so transferable. Mm -hmm. So if I like teaching, but I don't necessarily go with Beijing, mm -hmm. then maybe I'll go to Rio. Or, or if I love Beijing, then you know I can stay here for another year. Or if I love China, I can go to Shanghai or Chengdu. Or okay. Okay. Great. Thank you, Kim.